uh, technology outage. Yeah. You know, so unfortunately, by definition, it's not simple, mm -hmm. and it's hard to make it uh, very simplistic. Um, but I think in the in, in a layperson's terms, which is certainly uh, what I am, uh, we had a router um, in a uh, network that partially failed. And of course, uh, in an airline, which is a logistics company, uh, we have hundreds of uh, software systems that all need to more or less integrate or talk with each other uh, and certainly be able to access information or pass information back and forth. So a router is key. It's a Cisco router, uh, something that uh, most people can relate to. Um, and the way I like to describe it, although it may not be literally accurate, rather than the device completely failing, in which case uh, we have uh, adequate redundancy where another router that's simply sitting there as a backup would take its place and no one would ever know the difference. That happens all the time. Uh, it partially failed, so it was receiving, but it was not passing the data on. And um, that partial failure, at least in our experience, was highly unusual. Yeah. And it escalated, so it did the backup technology, in other words, that was not activated. Uh, and uh, systems began to uh, fail. And it, mainly because uh, there was not, obviously, a, a flow of information break across the uh, these various applications. Then we have processes or tools that we uh, call um, uh, repair tools. So it, it takes a lot of work to produce a schedule in the first place and then if we are off schedule we have to have extra tools to repair that and put it back where it needs to be. Uh, and there's really three different um, aspects that need to be rescheduled. The airplane first, Pilots are done separately uh, from the airplanes, and then flight attendants are done separately yet again. Um, then you can you can just envision the airport and having uh, our ground operations personnel in place, uh, even the TSA and those those people. If the uh, day if the aircraft day gets longer, so you just have to make sure you have all those resources on the ground also. But the primary challenge was getting the airplanes where they needed to be and then making sure that they had pilots and then making sure that they had flight attendants. And unfortunately, when the airline gets into a massive repair uh, mode like that, and, and I'm talking about the schedule, it takes, in some cases, many hours to reproduce a solution to get people where they need to be. Um, and then once you have the solution, you have to physically get the airplanes and the people where they need to be. And that just took longer than it should.